Hello, my dear friends. So leverage the puck up eh? or go big or go home. And this is a simulation. Um, how um, how it will look if you leverage up. Eh? So uh, with Tesla stock, for example, eh? uh, let's say you buy for an average price. Currently, it's 225. Uh, or no, it's 220. Uh, so $220. Uh, let's say you invest in 100 shares and, and that will cost you 22k. Um, what's your upwards and downwards potential? If it's just cash here, huh, then it's a simple story, of course. Huh? Uh, if it goes down to 200, or let's say it's good by half to about 110 or so, uh, then you lose about 50%, eh? 52%. The value you invest at 22K, is, it becomes 10K. But let's say that um, you, 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 you'll also do leverage. And it depends how much you want to take. Huh? But let's say you buy an additional 100 shares on leverage. That doesn't mean that you're going to have a margin call at 167. Huh? So you want to avoid that. So how much leverage you, 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 you take uh, depends on how how low or high you want this leverage, but this I think is 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 safe margin because the low was 177. So I mean the chance that it will go below the low of 177 or 175 is low. It's 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 a low probability that we will see a new low. Very likely the low was in when it was cut by two. It went from 380 dollars to 170 dollars as cut by two. So we'll probably saw the law. So so it's very low probability we go lower than this. So if you leverage up only double up, uh, then the buy is double as many shares is actually pretty safe. Uh, and it's it's also not that you lose your fortune if it would go below this, but uh, but let's just see at at the losses you would make if it's good by two. Uh, it goes from two hundred to hundred. Well then then you don't make fifty percent loss. You make about 90% loss. So you do lose a lot more if you are leveraged up. How would the situation look? Well, um, as you can see, uh, 100, 200, you have 200 shares total. You start with 200 shares, but you get a margin call at 167. So that's somewhere uh, when you reach 162, you will have uh, received the margin call and you will have uh, to sell shares. And, uh, and this is uh, the example is interactive brokers where you can have a maintenance margin uh, requirement of 34 percent if you do profit um, if you have a, a portfolio with um, with um, um, portfolio margin but usually if you don't have portfolio margin like for example in interactive brokers there will be 40 percent maintenance margin um, so that means that actually it's higher. Uh, if you have 40% maintenance margin, that means that the amount of your own equity needs to be 40% of the account value. Huh? Uh, and so here, for example, let's say you double up, uh, uh, you buy an additional 100 shares for 22K, uh, then you will have a total account, account value of 44K, but your own equity will be 22K. And so that is 50% that your current margin is. But if you have 40% maintenance margin, it means you cannot below, go below 40%, otherwise you will get a margin call. And what does that mean? It means that if you hit a value of 183, you will go below 40%. You can also see that here. Let's say we go to 200. What is the maintenance margin, uh, the current margin you have? Also 50. That's not correct. Huh? Yes, it is. Let's go to 180. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is buying, of course. This is buying. Uh, no, we can't buy at 180 here. We have to buy at 220. So, so we have to look here uh, what happens. But um, uh, this number will uh, change based on what price you pay and how much you buy. But um, so what will happen? Uh, you will lose shares. Uh, that's uh, so. How does that work? You get a margin call, and interactive broker will forcefully liquidate um, your shares. So, for example, here when you go below 183, at 180, 
uh, interactive brokers will sell nine shares um, to make sure that your margin stays above 40 percent because it goes below here it's only 38 percent so that's why an interactive broker will say you, you don't have enough equity in your account compared to the total value of your account so we're going to sell some shares to make sure that you have enough equity again or actually what they do is when they sell shares, they lower the margin loan that you have with them. Uh, because this 1,600 that you receive from selling nine shares will go to lowering the margin loan and thereby raising your margin uh, maintenance, uh, your current margin. So with margin, you see that, okay, you start with, you can have 200 shares instead of 100, but as the price goes down, you will get less and less shares due to the margin calls. And you will be back at 100 shares without margin at a price of $120. But I think that's absolutely worth it because what's the chance that we go to $120 is very, very low, in my opinion. So the chance that you go back to only 100 shares is very low but that's also not a disaster if you have 100 shares because actually without margin you would also have only 100 shares but of course the big difference is if you get 200 shares in this way actually you won't be owning them in full uh, the situation will actually be that yeah you have 100 shares but you still have a margin loan of 7k uh, and if you deduct that from the uh, account value your own equity is only 5k huh? whereas if you look at the 100 shares uh, you start with uh, here you have, if you have no margin, yes, you have the 100 shares still, but you also own them in full. Huh? So the value of your account, your e own equity is 11K, not 5K. Huh? So, so, so uh, yes, you do have 100 shares here, but actually you own less than half of them because you still have your margin low. But for, for me, the way I look at this kind of investment Tesla is this is a potential 10X and actually it's very likely to happen. Like, let's say an 80% chance it's going to do 10x. So in this case, yes, okay, it's true. Let's say things go wrong uh, and you do go down against all expectations to a, to a value of uh, $120 for this share and you end up with only 100 shares. Yes, you don't own all of them, but that's not very important. What's important is how many shares you have uh, because it will do 10x from here also and go to 1,000 and so then it doesn't really matter once it did 10x that you have a margin loan of 7k that's not of importance uh what's important is you have 100 shares times 10x uh that means 2000 uh, or 1000 per piece and that means that's uh, that's 100k and then this 7k loan is of no importance so 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 i do think um uh, it's absolutely worth taking this risk um because yeah the chance that you will have end up with less shares due to investing with margin is very low. The chance that you end up with more shares thanks to investing in margin is very high investing with margin. And, and, and the general rule is why, why should you borrow money to, to buy stocks? People say that, oh, that's very risky, but it's not true. It's the same reason why you would borrow money to invest in uh, real estate or why you, why you would borrow money to uh, expand your company uh, like there it's all accepted like yeah that's fine to do there but it's not fine to do with stocks and of course it's not true uh, the only thing that's of importance here is what's your expected return with your investment with your company with your real estate and if this is higher than the interest rate you need to pay then that's a great uh, deal to make and and so a margin loan with interactive brokers will cost you only 14 uh, 4 percent 3 to 4 percent that's the interest rate, but your expected returns, well, you can look at your past track record, how much have you made in the stock market? If it's higher than four or 5% per year, then well, you're making a profit by borrowing at 4%. So, so it's a good idea to do that. And um, uh, especially when you see an opportunity in the stock market, something that's relatively cheap, has gone down just a lot in price and has a great uh, risk reward ratio then it's very wise idea to do that. Very similar to uh, having a great opportunity with your company where you, you're very likely going to make money and then borrowing at 4% is a great idea or you see a great real estate investment where you can have a rental income of 15% or 20% and you can borrow at 4%. Yes, of course you do that, especially when you have the opportunity right there. Huh? 
uh, and that's the case here with Tesla, in my opinion. So, um, what's the potential reward? The potential reward is is a lot higher. Huh? Uh, let's say uh, you compare these two, and, and and it works out, and you do a ten x. So you go from two hundred to uh, to uh, two thousand, uh, which I think is uh, is likely to happen. Uh, so what are your uh, returns? Uh, well, the value of your account is um, is 400k, and um, but you do have that loan here uh, of 22k, but uh, your equity is 400k. And the loan is almost nothing compared to the equity. Huh? So that's a great uh, situation. If you don't use margin, you have 200k. I mean, it's not it's close. Huh? But there's a huge difference here that is, well, you may double, um, but also, most importantly, you're going to stick with it, this attitude, uh, which is that borrowing money is a good, uh, a good idea, a better idea than um, not borrowing money. And so what can you do in this situation? Usually what investors would do is they would sell off their uh, great Tesla investment that did 10x and look for opportuni other opportunities. But... You don't have to do that if you use margin uh, loans uh, to your advantage. Uh, if it did 10x, yes, you can sell it. But what you can also do is, well, you have here margin excess or margin deficiency. You have a margin excess. You can borrow against this stock. And how much? Well, about 60% because you need to keep 40% in equity. So uh, let's go back to the line here of 2K. Um, what you see is that uh, you can borrow 238k against this stock. And that's a great move. Why? Well, because you're not selling your shares. And typically, after something 10 folds, what does it do? Does it get cut by two or does it double again? Well, probably it's going to cut by two first. And after that, it doubles again from the 10x. So it goes times four again. If it's a real winner, if Tesla is the next Amazon or Facebook or Google, which I think is likely here, then it will not just do 10x. It will double again the year after and the year after, two years later, it has doubled again and it continues to go up a lot. And so the total value here, yes, if it does 10x or 20x, it goes to from the current 40 billion to 600 billion, but that's not the biggest company in the world. Currently, that's 1 trillion for Amazon. But I think Tesla has the potential to become the biggest company in the world uh, in 10 years time. So actually the potential is not 600 billion. It's to go beyond 1 trillion and go to the first company to reach uh, maybe 2 or 3 trillion. Actually, no, that will already happen for Amazon or so in, 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 a co in 2, 3 years. But uh, uh, something like Tesla can reach uh, 5 trillion or so in 10 years time, uh, 5 to 10 trillion. So selling at, at the 10x will prove to be likely not the right move. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, volatility is there, but what you can do is uh, after the 10x's, you borrow against it. And so what happens then? Uh, yes, you can take 170k out and invest in other opportunities, not Tesla, of course, because it just did 10x, that would not be wise. But there are so many other opportunities you can look at and invest this 170k while keeping your shares, all your shares. Huh? And then maybe, yes, it gets cut by 30% or so in a sell-off. What will happen? Well, you get margin calls and you will end up selling, not at 2k, but at, 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 at 1.9 or 1.7 or 1,600. 1, you get some margin calls and you end up selling some stock um, just to uh, bring down uh, your margin loan. But that's okay because you don't mind selling at the 10x. Huh? Uh, uh, that's okay. But you probably end up selling only 20 or 30% of your shares. And after that, it doubles again. Huh? So you end up selling some of your shares, but only if it goes down. If it doubles again from there, which is like a 50-50 chance there, uh, because you always underestimate how high something goes. Huh? Uh, and so... Uh, then what will happen is that, yes, you invest in another opportunity, but at the same time, this 400K doubles to 800K and you invest in, in another opportunity also. Uh, so so, so th that's, that's how to create wealth. Uh, 
Um, and, and only then, uh, after it doubles, you can do it again. Maybe that opportunity that you thought was a great opportunity, invest 170K and then it gets cut by two again. Typically, uh, you always underestimate how low something goes. What you can do then, well, this one doubled to 800K, so suddenly you can borrow another 170K. Huh? So you can borrow another 170K, put it also in this opportunity that was cut by two again, and um, worst case, this reaches a peak and it gets cut by 30% from here. You end up selling shares, not uh, at, not at 4K, but at 3.5K, 3.2K. You end up being liquidated some Tesla shares uh, to pay off your margin loan that has now gone up to uh, not 20K, but 400K. Huh? Uh, 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 but that's okay. You're happy to sell some uh, shares at these prices uh, because in the meantime, uh, you invest the shitload in another opportunity, but you still keep like probably after a 30% correction goes back up. And since it's a winner, it will continue to go up a lot more. So this is a, a great way to invest that I can highly recommend. But of course, the, the one drawback is the risk here you take. Yeah, uh, you, you do end up selling shares and you can't buy them back if you do the simulation um, let me do that quickly. No, I won't be doing it. You can do it yourself. Just add some lines here. And instead of uh, uh, going up 10%, uh, you just uh, uh, down 10%. You just add some lines where you go up with 10%. And you see what happens here. Uh, you will see that, yes, as it goes back up, you want to make sure that you always buy back shares as many as you can, uh, which you will be here because the higher you go, in price, the more your uh, deficient access becomes eh, because your margin is based on the amount of account value. So the higher your account value becomes, uh, the more, um, um, you can see that here, eh, the less leverage you take and the more um, uh, access you get in your account, uh, margin access that you can borrow against. And so in the beginning, let's say things go wrong, what you do is you, of course, use this margin access to buy back some Tesla shares. But of course, uh, the higher you go, uh, the more risky it becomes to do that. So you don't want to do that, for example, till $300, I would say, because or $400, because it could go back and, and, and that's the low again of, of $200. So, but currently you're in a low risk area around $200. You can use margin, but uh, so, but it basically means if it would correct more and then it goes back to $200, you'll end up with less shares. And so, so this is something you want to avoid. So there is a short term risk here by using margin. The risk is if you go below 180, you do lose equity uh, and, and you lose shares and you end up with less shares even if you go back to current price of 220k once you go below 180 in this scenario and you go back to 220 you will end up with less shares than 200. so that's the risk it's a short-term risk to have and but the moment price goes up and, and we go to 250 and 300 while well, this margin call stays the same uh, uh, you can see that here as price go up the margin call stays the same and, and the further you go from it the less likely it becomes that you will ever hit this again huh? if it's a winner. So um, your risk goes down. The higher the price goes, the lower your risk becomes. And over time, it becomes negligible. It will never see this price again. Uh, like that's unlikely. Huh? Um, so uh, that's the story. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I will share the sheet in the link below. Uh, and you can just uh, copy the sheet and, and, and change the numbers yourself and, uh, and play with it.